Good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. And today I'm going to go ahead and tell you verse 32, 1232. This is my favorite verse in the Gospel of Luke. I'm not going to hide it. Here it is. And this is what the Bible, what Jesus said. Do not fear, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. I'm only going to think about that with you just for a minute today. But that is such a large thought, isn't it? Do not fear, little flock. There are so many things out there that people want us to be afraid of. Oh, no. Oh, no. The climate's coming in. Oh, no. The economy's going to collapse. Oh, no. There's going to be a, a virus. Oh, 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 no. There's a million oh, no's out there, right? But he says, do not fear. And then he calls us a little flock, just a little flock. It sounds very intimate. It sounds very close. He's talking to every believer, of course. Do not fear, all of you believers, you, those of you who have trusted in me and Jesus, he says. Do not fear because... I love you. I am watching over. I'm giving you the help you need. So look at what we have. It is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Now, a lot of people have this picture of God, this vision of God. He's kind of an angry guy. His, his, his brow, he's got sort of a glowing radioactive brow. It's furrowed down deep. And he's looking for people that he can zap and knock out. He doesn't really like anybody. He's kind of a loner. He's kind of, you know looking for people to throw lightning bolts to and wipe them out. He's a very big, bad, judging kind of a guy, and none of us meet his expectations. So, yeah, he's kind of scanning, looking for people to destroy. Yeah. Sit down and read the gospel. Sit down and read read, the, read your Bible and find out what kind of a God he is. It is your father's good pleasure. He's your father. I mean, after all, he made you. It is your father's good pleasure what, to uh, give you, like, an option there. If you do these 18,000 things and you do them perfectly, you get the kingdom. No, it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It's a gift. He says, look, I'm going to give this to you. I'm going to give you the atonement through Jesus if you'll only accept it. That's a, that's a pretty awesome deal, isn't it? How could you top that deal? Your Father loves you. He is a God of affection. He's a personal God. He wants you in the kingdom. He desires you to be in the kingdom. He sent Jesus on the most expensive mission in, 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 in the universe. So you and I could, could say just say yes and be of the kingdom. And so he's ready to transform us. He's ready to help us become more like Jesus day by day. Still be me, but be unselfish and be the best me that there is, my unique pieces and God wants to do that for you, and he wants to do that for each one of us. Oh, friends, we are so blessed. There are such great privileges that God has for us. May we, may we simply accept that our Father loves us, and it's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Let's pray. Father in heaven, you are so gracious, and I don't think that a lot of us realize how gracious you are. We're in a world with many demands and many, uh, many pitfalls, many things that bear and, and sort of break things down. They're in the way. There's many, many trials ahead. Lord, help us to realize that you want us. You, you, you have come for us. You've sent Jesus for us. And all we need to do is be willing to be made willing. So Lord, help each one who hears this little devotional thought today. Help each one be willing to be made willing. And Lord, take us into your kingdom and use us for your glory. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. A friend, the Father loves you, and I praise the Lord for this, this, this little thought in this little segment here in the Gospel of Luke. It's absolutely the truth of God. He is a personal God. He's for you. His blessings be upon you this day.